So uh, uh, meeting minutes from our last meetings. Anyone have any comments or a motion to approve? One, one comment in the first paragraph, uh, Julie's name is wrong. Oh, and even, oh. even Julie didn't notice that. And I, <laughs> I don't have the meeting minutes. How did I spell it? No, it's, I, where's, um, I think they have it as June. Oh, I think it may maybe autocorrect. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Thank you for catching that, Fred. Because I definitely wouldn't have called her June. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Isn't autocorrect wonderful? <laughs> All righty. Um, are there any other comments? Move to approve. Second. Okay. All those in favor, Fred? Aye. Uh, Julie? Aye. Uh, Joyce? Aye. Great. Uh, vendor and payroll warrants, I was not in town to uh, review those, but Fred did. Were there, does anyone have any comments on those? No. Lynn showed me where to sign. I signed. I asked her if there were <laughs> okay. any issues. She said no. I okay. Signed. Okay. Great. Sounds like it's uh, as it should be. Um, so next is public comment. Are there um, any members of the public there with comments on items not listed on the agenda? No members of the public are present in the conference room. Okay. Well, if there are no members of the public present, I don't see any members of the public on Zoom either. So it <clears throat> sounds like we can, uh, we can move on. Um, under COVID-19, we didn't have any uh, items listed, but has anything come up in the last little bit, Hannah, re regarding COVID? No, Aside nothing. The fact that I got it, no. Oh, so sorry, <laughs> Fred. <laughs> I, I, I trust you it was a mild me? case? Uh, sort of two waves, bad, felt like a bad cold. Uh, oh. Just getting over it now. Oh, okay. All right, well, hang in there. Yeah. Um, I don't know where this should come in the meeting, but uh, I think probably everybody has seen or heard uh, that uh, over the past weekend, uh, Paul Florio passed away. Uh, it was yeah. not necessarily unexpected because he was in poor health. Um, but I'm, I think um, they uh, put in the newspaper this morning a place to send a gift. And uh, I don't mind uh, sending something on behalf of the select board. If um, if others are in agreement, I think it was a in lieu of flowers, send a donation to um, I think it was Nelquit in Greenfield. Um, uh, does anybody have any I any thoughts on that? that? I'm I'm good with that. I would support that. Uh, sorry, I couldn't understand what you said, Julie. I'm sorry. I would support that. Okay. Great. So, sounds good to me. Okay. All right, great. Um, next item is old business. Uh, we have some discussion about potential steps for moving forward on the Demaya property. That that um, was my uh, insertion. Okay. Uh, at, we just were just talking about it briefly just before you came on. Uh, it's really a preliminary step, mostly to know you know it's a piece of property, four acres the town owns, and. It'd be nice to know what we what is buildable there. That it's it's on wetlands. Wetlands have been encroaching as it's been not used. Uh, I talked with Keith Bardwell briefly and want to go into more depth about preliminary steps for new highway department and just the thought that might be a location. Theoretically, mm. it's a piece of property the town owns. It's not doing anything, but in terms of buildability, mm. is it big enough? Does it, you know, have the proper drainage, whatever? Mm. Uh, so I think getting a survey or at least starting to look at the property. Uh, Brian suggested that we uh, talk to the conservation committee. Uh, I think they would have a lot of insight about that. That they would probably have insight on the property. Uh, again, this, this is really just to get a discussion going and to get, you know, sort of help inventory what mm. the town 
has and how useful is it? Yeah. No, I think that sounds like a really a good idea. It's, I mean, it, there sounds like there's a lot of things we can do without incurring uh, additional cost, right? If you're talking about uh, Keith looking at it and the Conservation Commission looking at it, that's pretty much free. Right. And then we can right. get yeah, some but, more information. But we, we a need, month I or think two. we may need to do a survey that has at, at some you know at some point soon hmm. that tells us how much buildable land there is and how much would be protected land. Oh, okay. Um, you know, because it's, may... it's it's four acres, some of it, but we don't know how much exactly is wetlands and can't be built. Do you so, know okay. up front? I'm sorry, this is Julie. Do you yeah. know up front how much land you would need to build? I would have to talk to Keith about that, but the current, I, I looked at the uh, property map, the current land that the highway department is on, but which includes the fire department, highway department, transfer station, police station, um, um, salt dome and cell antenna is a five acre lot. Ah, so, that, okay. so that's uh, you know a I'm lot here. of stuff on a five acre lot. This is four, but we don't know how much is real yeah. land. But I would think if half of it is you know, if it's two acres, that should be sufficient for mm -hmm. a highway department garage. But again, depending on how yeah. it's situated, you know, is there a long neck of one buildability that cuts it in half, we don't know. Mm. Yeah, let's find out then. And, um, and again, it's not to say that it would the highway department would be built there, but it's an option. It's a place that it might be. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I I don't know what to do for the next step. I don't think we need to vote on anything, but um, um, I guess, Fred, you are the select board. Yeah, I'm, I'm, on, so you'll yeah. pick it up from there. I will pick it up from there. I just sort of want it on the record that we wanted to start going into this and maybe contact conservation and bring them in. Mm, that sounds great. Thank you, Fred, for bringing that up because I certainly hadn't crossed my mind. Okay, on to new business. Um, first, uh, discuss and vote to appoint Julia Mines to the Cultural Council. Um, I nominated her so I can say a word or two. Um, while waiting in line to get a balloon ride at the Waitley 250th uh, celebration uh, event at the library. Um, everybody's talking to everybody in the line. And I uh, started talking to um, a nice uh, woman standing right behind me in line. Um, and she, oh, she gave me her card, which I don't think I can pull out of, uh, I think it's on my dresser at my home, which is, I'm not here at my home at the moment. Um, uh, she's kind of interested and now has some time to get involved in things in the town. And I said, would you like a very easy task? Um, and, it, and she liked that it was related to arts and culture because that's one of her interests. So um, I think the cultural council is, has a minimum number, but we can add, we can have more people involved and it's probably a good idea. So I, that's why I nominated Julie and, um, I, I guess that's my pitch. And I will second the nomination. Sounds good to me. I've known Julia for many years through her work at WRSI and elsewhere, and she's a neighbor up in uh, West mm -hmm. Wayland, and I think she'd be a great addition to the council. Okay. Well, it's moved and seconded. Um, all those in favor? Fred? Aye. Uh, Julie? Aye. Joyce, me, yes. Okay, great. Moving right along. Um, uh, discuss and vote on submitting a letter of support to the Waitley Granges grant application to the Mass State Grange Agricultural and Environment Committee. Um, yeah. I'm happy to take that. Who can say more about that? Go ahead. I can do that. Um, we had a last minute, this is a last minute addition to the agenda. We recently received an email from Ruth Fairman representing the Grange. Um, the Grange would like to apply for $2,500 in grant money to the Mass State Grange Agriculture and Environment Committee um, to be used by Smith Vocational and Agricultural High School for the replacement of the tools lost in the fire in May. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, the school published a list of needed items and in order to submit this grant application, they need a letter of support from the select board. Um, the letter of support is due on the 15th, but they got a five day extension. That due date is still before the next meeting. So that's why we're talking about it now. Um, I would be happy to draft something. And um, if we would like to, I'm not sure exactly how this works, but if you'd like to like vote a member of the board who would like to review it and approve it, um, I think that should work. That sounds reasonable to me. Um, it sounds like a worthy cause and it does not gonna cost us anything. Um, and the Grange is willing to do their part to try and, and get this going. Um, uh, Julie or Fred, any other? Oh, I think strong, a letter of strong support for the Grange. It's, it's their mission to support agriculture. And it was a, a disaster that struck Smith Vocational. So anything we can do to help we, like this, yeah. we should do. Okay. Well, uh, maybe I'll make the motion then. Um, I move that uh, uh, we support the Grange with a letter. Uh, the details being Hannah will draft it. Um, Julie or Fred, um, I, I can't be there to sign I'd it and make. Review it. Sorry, I'd be happy to review it. Okay. Okay. That sounds great. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, so there's the, so there's the motion. I guess we should vote it. Second. Um, um, all those in favor, Fred. Aye. Julie. Aye. Joyce. Aye. Okay. Oh man, we are cruising. Brian's going to be so jealous we get to him <laughs> so quickly. Okay. Oh, except the gap three competitive grant review program is coming up. So let uh, the next item discuss and vote to submit an application to the gap three competitive grant program. And I think this is a Hannah item to chat about. Yes. Um, so as I've mentioned in previous meetings, this gap three grant program is meant to cover the gap between prior funding and um, the rest of the amount needed to support uh, environmentally friendly measures. Um, we're applying for solar panels on behalf of the water department to go on the rooftop. Um, we recently had an audit completed. They've just returned the report. Um, they also recommended some weatherization options. So if you would like, we could also include that. It's very similar to green communities where you apply with a table and you put all your different projects and then they will either support or not support those projects. Yeah. Um, so if you would like me to include the additional weatherization, I'm happy to do that as well. Uh, we are required to provide a 10% cost share, so it'll raise our cost share a little bit. Um, but mm -hmm. I believe the amount that we owe is somewhere in the ballpark of 1500. Let me just double check that before I tell you something wrong. Yeah, so the total project cost for the weatherization is 2019 um, and 25 cents and our total cost, the total customer cost would be uh, $1,569 and 25 cents. And that's so that last number is including the solar and the weatherization and the light. So the um, customer cost uh, is in addition to the solar project. Um, the solar project in total is seventy four thousand, I believe, nine hundred dollars. Um, I'm applying for the total. I wrote the application for the total cost of that project. We will see some incentives over a twenty five year period, but because it's not funding up front, I didn't want us to have to scramble for extra funding. Um, yeah. So, I so um, okay, but I guess I didn't. Uh, I, I guess I didn't hear the other numbers uh, clearly. So Sorry. the <laughs> the, uh, the amount you're saying we should increase our request. Uh, uh, it sounded like you're saying we're gonna have to pay ten percent of the increase or ten percent of the whole thing. We'll have to pay ten percent of the total solar project cost and the total customer cost from Advanced Energy Group combined. So. Oh. Um, that would. Oh, okay. Equal. So that's why the numbers didn't add up. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So our total customer cost will, or total cost share for the grant program will likely be around $7,000. Okay. And for, so Anna, based on the sheet you sent around, the our cost would be fifteen sixty nine twenty five on the supplemental part, but it looks like there's a like a five year payback. Yeah, so essentially pay for itself in five years. Right. Yeah. Um, and I don't think that we would have to pay that total cost because we would be including those measures on the grant program. I believe we would only have to pay 10% of that. Oh, okay. okay. But the most we would have to pay is 
this other, the 15. 15, say, yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. If we were to have to fund okay. the entirety of that in addition okay. to the solar. So a small change to leverage big change. That's the hope, yeah. <laughs> I okay. would keep paying back over a much longer period. Indeed. Okay. Uh, Julie, we have sort of been like hogging up all the, the microphone space here. I'm, I'm just listening and learning. Um, nothing additional, nothing else to add. Okay. Um, do we need a, a vote on this? Yes. Um, yeah, it says here vote. Um, so would they I'll, make I'll the move, motion? I'll move that we vote on this. <laughs> Well, you have to move the thing we're going to do. Oh, I have to. I I move that we are going to submit an application to the GAP three competitive grant program. Yeah, with the additions that Hannah mentioned. With right. the additions that Hannah has mentioned. Thank you. Second. Okay. All of those in favor? Uh, Fred. Yes. Uh, Julie. Yes. And me. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, it says adjourn. There's no town administrator updates. There's no oh, town administrator here. <laughs> well, we have an assistant town uh, administrator. Assistant. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of assumed that because the town administrator was out of town, we wouldn't have any town administrator updates. I'm sorry. That's oh, my fault. <laughs> I know. And for some people, it's the favorite part of the meeting. Um, uh, that's okay. This is, this, is this your first like solo meeting with us? Yeah. And, and we behaved ourselves nicely. I want that noted for the record. Thank you very um, much. <laughs> is there anything anybody else would like to mention that we may have forgotten? Um, I don't okay. think so. And I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. But, uh, sorry, I do have one other thing to mention. And that is, I just want to thank everyone who was involved in the Waitley 250 celebration. It oh my gosh, yes. Wonderful. Well, yes. Uh, Yay. Oh, if I use my other hand, clap, my <laughs> computer will start moving. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that was, I, I, I think we need an article in the newspaper just to, to do that. So, all right, anybody up for an adjourn motion? Move to adjourn. Second. Okay, all those in favor, Fred? Yes. Julie? Yes. Joyce? Yes. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night, all you hard workers. <laughs>